Hello VC, hello everyone, I hope everyone is doing alright and uh, just having a nice day. Yes, it is currently the bank holiday at the time of filming this, yes, in the around, I'm going to say around 10 in the morning or something, or whatever. Uh, but yeah, um, I finally got around to coming back and doing some more videos. I'm so sorry for not doing any videos. There have been just, there's just been stuff, or whatever. Nothing mental or personal, but there's just been, there's just been some stuff happening so it's just been like so I haven't been like thinking really should I do a video even though I was actually thinking should I do a video um, I know it makes no complete sense but whatever all right then today is gonna be a Bowie merch update I've decided now that I should probably try and do these like when I get a good bunch of Bowie merch each year so this year I have a lot of stuff to show from 2020 onwards to up to now in 2021 I've got a lot of cool things to show so we're going to start like chronologically really and just make our way through everything because I think that would just be very easy. So let's get started. So yeah, the first thing I've got to show off in this is a book and this is um, Bowie, the illustrated story. Um, my mother got me this for my 20th birthday last year, which was really nice for, nice for her to get me. Um, it's a pretty cool little, little book, some very, very, you know, very basic information on, on uh, Bowie, but... Whatever it, you know, it's, it's pretty cool right now. Um, what else we got here? Yeah, got some nice picks as well, some very obvious ones like that one there over at the top of the pops. Or, um, what else have you got? That's a cool one there of him in the 74 tour. Um, and what else? Let's find another one. Uh, that one. I've always loved that one. Serious Moonlight era. So, yeah. Pretty cool, and I got that. A while later, I got a t-shirt, and I got this in around uh, June of last year. Um, probably since before, I showed it um, in, one, in an old record update from last year. This is the Serious Moonlight Tour t-shirt. The design is based off the program. I don't think, I don't think any of the t-shirts really looked like this um, from, my mem from seeing old ones anyway, but if... Maybe some of them did, please correct me in the comments, but yeah, I've always loved that design. And I'm kind of, I'm in love with the Serious Moonlight era and Let's Dance era, if, um, as you'll see along in this video. Alright, the next thing I got was this. And this is a magazine called, sorry, Buy Long Live Vinyl. This is David Bowie, The Vinyl Buyer's Guide, which is really cool. I don't think I've shown this off before, so I'm showing it now, of course. Uh, some really nice stuff on here, like, well, like just your basic information, just like some nice information on each record. So, yeah. Um, you know, sorry, I'll show some better pictures. Um, no, yeah. 2000 zero there. And uh, what else have we got? Like, what else can I try and show off? And then. The tribute to him at the Brits, which was awesome, I remember that. At the back you got a really nice little, you know, collage or whatever, collage or whatever of his, you know, records of all those albums. Yeah, that's why he's my favourite artist ever. Uh, the next thing I've got, now what was the next thing I've got? It's a really good question. Yeah, I know it was. It was, first I'll show off the t-shirt, next t-shirt I've got to show off is Heroes. Uh, this is, um, Basically the Heroes t-shirt, I got this for Christmas 2020 from my family, uh, yeah, thank you, pretty cool, uh, it's got the date there for one of the Ills Court shows from 78 on the Isolator, pretty cool, along with this really really nice book, David Bowie is inside, which is an awesome book, I uh, haven't popped it out in a while though, this has been up in the, it's been the cab cupboard for a bit, but real interesting like stuff in here it's just it's just it is a really good book i will not deny that yeah and i really wish that i could like just go to the vna to this i wish they i just hope well not hope they'd bring it back yeah well, i hope they would do they can bring it back some day i doubt they will but you know it's all it would just be a treasure to go visit the vna uh so yeah same with the Floyd one, I, I would love to visit that. Um, that's a great picture of him there. Uh, what else have we got here? Oh, that 
that's incredible. The Hunger City design for Diamond Dogs Tour. How awesome is that? Yeah. Storyboards for Ashes to Ashes. I'm not going to show off anymore because people should, you should, people, Bodhi fans should really get this book. It's, it's just incredible. All right. What else? What's my next thing I'm showing off? Ah, yes. Um, I have some DVDs. To, yes, yeah, some good old DVDs to show off. All right. So these are the ones in order. Got this. Showed this a while back, didn't I? This is the Hunger Blu-ray slash DVD set from the Premium Collection. Uh, yeah, Bowie, of course, in this film. Really good film. Classic vampire film. Um, you get some. You get a nice picture of Bowie there. And then you get some pretty cool um, cards. So there's one of Bowie there. Uh, Bowie and. I can't remember who she is. Then I got my hands on this. Uh, this is the Ziggy and Spiders from Mars uh, film from 1983, originally released in, uh, well, released theatrically anyway in 1983. Originally premiered around 74, wasn't it? I can't remember really, sorry. So finally got around to watching this in full. It's brilliant. It's as good as people said it was. It is fantastic. The final performance of the Hammers Mavodian by Bowie as Ziggy. I was actually recently having a discussion at uh, work uh, about this tour with a, with a colleague who said he went to, um, it wasn't this show, but it, it wasn't a Hammersmith show, but it was uh, one of the England shows, and he said he was absolutely fantastic, um, which was just, just great to hear from somebody who'd seen him live. Nice big poster there. And there you have, yeah, that. Bowie quits. And uh, yeah, nice little booklet here with like information on tracks and that. A little um, um, little bit of words there from the director, the late great D. A. Pennebaker, who also did Depeche Mode's 101. He directed that. So yeah, pretty cool stuff. And then you got the inside, which is just the disc. Yeah, that is just an awesome DVD, you know. If you haven't watched it, if you're a Bowie fan, just pick it up. You pick it up these days. I got the cool casing one because I wanted the cool casing. <laughs> uh, yeah. Then I got Into the Night, which John Kerwin talked about in the response to my David Bowie tag that I did. Um, he did his response. He said that this was his favourite Bowie film. I still haven't watched this yet, even though I got it ages ago, early this month, early this year. Uh, I will have to check it out soon. I definitely will. Um, yeah, Jeff Goldblum and Michelle Pfeiffer as well. I love those guys. So yeah, hope this will be. Hopefully, this will be a good watch. All right. Okay. What is the next thing that I purchased? That the next thing that I got. Well, the next. Yeah, the next bunch of stuff were from. Yes, they were from my birthday, and I got a real, real nice little uh, stack of things, and I'm pretty happy with what I got for my birthday. It was a bit of a Bowie birthday. And I'll cut to a cool picture as well of um, what my bird, what a what a little extra birthday cake looked like. <laughs> All right, yes, here's what I'm going to show you. So starting off with what my mum got me, she got me Ricochet, which is my well, mum and dad. Sorry, Ricochet. This is the um, yep, yeah, um, a in, 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 sorry. An Intimate Portrait by Dennis O'Regan, which is really nice to have. And this has some incredible pictures of Bowie. I'm not going to show you it all because I highly recommend people get this. Um, I'll show you like two or something. Okay, there's, there's, there's your pictures for you. Really nice book. Beautiful pictures by the great Dennis O'Regan. I remember this coming out, which would have been in uh, 2018 when I was just getting into David Bowie. And, you know, I just remember, like, see the pictures on, like, the telly, and they're like, oh, it looks so cool. That's a great pick. That is super cool. So, yeah. Alright, and then got this from, again, one of my aunties got me this. Fair play to them. <laughs> Another copy of the illustrated story. Oh, well, it's got a different heart. It's got a harder feel to it, so, yeah. <laughs> yeah. There's that. 
And then I got... Oh, was this it? Yeah, this is it. This is the one that my cousin got for me. Um, this is really, really awesome to have. Uh, so basically, my auntie asked me, what's your favourite record? And I said, Diamond Dogs by David Bowie. From 1974. And this is a 45 a frame of a 45. Uh, all around there are the lyrics of Diamond Dogs. And it says, you know, David Bowie, happy 21st birthday, Sean. Because, yeah, April was when my 21st birthday was. So, yeah. And the last thing I got for my 21st birthday was a David Bowie cake. Which, um, sadly, it wasn't a chocolate one, it was a jam one. <laughs> and, um, you know, it was kind of like a last minute, it was like a little thing my mum did as well, fed later with. And, yeah, I'll show you a picture of it. Now, this video you're watching now is a bit that I filmed about just over a week later after after try originally filming part of this video because I realised I'd forgotten to show two two items which I which I'd bought just after my birth just yeah after my birthday that I knew I had to show and also mention a podcast and also I'd forgotten to show a CD so here we go without further ado. I have this. This is the complete David Bowie by the incredible Nicholas Pegg. Thank you very much, Mr. Pegg, for giving us the Bowie, the best Bowie reference book. As it says here, this is the best Bowie reference book one could ever hope ever hope for. But it says, you know, Tony Visconti. And, and I myself, I'm going to say this. It is the Bowie Bible, as some people have said. This is a fantastic book and I highly recommend it. For any Bowie fan, it's really, really useful. And I also got along with it the serious Moonlight DVD. Uh, yeah, got these both off. Got these both, got these both online. Yeah, this is a really good DVD. Uh, it comes with the whole concert, which was recorded in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, on the 12th of September 1983 at the Pacific National Exhibition Coliseum. Um, there's the track listing there for you all who want to see what it's about. Features. The features you get are um, Ricochet, which is a documentary, which is pretty cool about Bowie touring um, the Far East. Um, yeah, and you got audio stuff. Yeah, really good DVD. Probably, um, well, out of the well, there's only like three Bowie DVD releases, really. You know, of his concerts. There's more of his films, but you know, shame. I wish there'd be more. And. On that note, I'm going to mention again about Nicholas Pegg. Um, since around February, I've been listening to the Bowie Album to Album podcast by Arsenal and Mohammed, and it is an absolutely fantastic podcast for any Bowie fan. I highly recommend it. I'll leave a link down below um, so you can find all the listening services, the, you know, the, stream, the streaming services that they're on. They're also online as well if you want to listen, so, you know, find them on the internet. They're just really good, um, just some great shows. Uh, there's one with Adam Buxton, where he talks about scary monsters. There's a fantastic three-part one on Diamond Dogs with Stuart McConey. Uh, there's a few with Nicholas Pegg, which are just amazing, because Nick Pegg is just, you know, you know. Well, all those ones I just mentioned are just amazing. Check them all out, they're really good. Uh, there was one with Chris O'Leary, who did the Bowie, um, did a Bowie book. And he does a blog as well called Pushing Ahead the Dame. I'll leave a link to that as well down below if you want to check out that blog by Mr. Chris O'Leary. Uh, so yeah, check those out. I'll leave a link down below. And my next item I got from Bowie was because I bought this just before um, because I did a radio show um, on Aladdin Sane in April, was it? Yeah, it would have been April. Yeah. Um, and yeah, great to get this on CD. I needed I needed it to, of course, play a few songs from it. So there you go. There's the side there. Also we got here. That. That. <laughs> Some pretty cool imagery. Yeah, fantastic album. Don't need to say more about it. And now back to the old footage. And then I have some t-shirts to show you again. I have the Aladdin Sane t-shirt, which I finally got. Love this t-shirt. Along with one that I need to send back, because I for some reason thought a medium, not a lot of not a medium, a large wouldn't be 
would be all right for me, but yeah, this is a bit too big for me, so I'll send it back. A stand Sierra, yeah, awesome. I also got some stickers, and they are printed throughout parts of my room, so I will show them off. Well, parts of like things, stuff in my room, so yeah. Now, the last thing I picked up was a Diamond Dog CD because I thought I might need it for the radio. My all time favourite Bowie album, so yeah. Just got it really for that. And I'll show you the inlay. Cool little thing there, showed off all of his discography. And that was all of his discography up to that point, yeah, except for the very first album. Some really cool pictures in here. I'm trying to see if they. Like, that's awesome. <laughs> what else we got? Awesome. So yeah. Yeah. So yeah, that is all everyone. I hope everyone enjoyed the video. And I'll be back soon with some vinyl related content, alright? So until then VC, have a nice day. Take care of yourselves everyone. And bye bye. For now.